got a 29 to a 31 high tone and just popped it up and I believe it's going to be silver. Oh my goodness, y'all see that? Well, today is day three. I'm headed out to my first location. It's a, a house. I think the house was probably built there in the 50s, but the house was there was some, there was an old hospital there before then. It's got a big hill in the front yard. It looks really good. And then I got another old house that's early 1900s, late 1800s. I'm going to hit after that. And then I got another little house. I got three houses and then a park and then a place where the circus used to be. And so let's uh, wish me luck. Let's get out there. Let's see what we can get. All right, I'm on location here. Oh, look at all these old houses. It's so wonderful. This old town is just filled with them. Um, let me spin you around. I'll show you kind of what I'm looking at today. This morning, I am looking at uh, going up this sidewalk strip right here. Going up those steps right there. And this is the house that's in the 50s, but before that house was built, uh, there was an old hospital here. So this used to be the old hospital. And then I got another house, that wide house right there. And I got some other locations as, as well this afternoon, a park where the, a lot of activity was. And so let's get on this and let's get at it. Well, my first hole is going to be about 10 inches deep. It's going to be this uh, makeup case. Maybe there's a gold coin inside of there. How about it? We'll open it up later to reveal at the wrap up and we'll see. All right. Got a lot of digging to do. Let's keep on at it. Now it's getting a 21, 22, and uh, this got a fork. All right. Let's keep on going. Well, I got my first uh, good high tone. I got a 27, 28, about six inches deep. Actually, it's about nine inches deep. Just popped it out and think it's going to be an old coin, but it's not. But it's going to be silver. As you can see, I'm thinking this place is old, but, but it's going to be a, a 53. But that kind of goes with the house. The house was built in the 50s. And uh, so there's got to be some older stuff in here too. So let's keep swinging. Well, I am still working the side yard here. Coming down. I'm going to fix it to hit the hill and the sidewalk here in just a minute. But I came down here past this big old tree coming down this way. And I got a 2021 jumpy signal. And I've got a nice cuff link. I don't think it's going to be silver, but I haven't looked at the markings on it yet. But I'll take a cuff link. All right. That's another good find. I don't see any markings. So let's keep on going and see if we can get some old coins. Well, still digging right here beside the tree on this hill. Maybe you can see how steep this is. And I was getting a uh, 16 to an 18 jumping around. And I don't know what this is, but it's uh, definitely got some... Uh, decorative fancy on it check that out it's kind of got a hook on one end and a point to the other end and and so i don't know what that is that's a nice little find though i like digging these relics all right let's take a picture and let's keep on swinging well i was getting a 26 to a 28 jumping around and it's right beside where i just dug a weedy and uh I see the edge of silver, so let's go down there and see what it is. You can see the edge of my pass right here was the uh, the weedy, and then just right here was this 2628, and it's just going to be oh, it's going to be a merc. Let's don't rub it too hard yet. Oh, it's just 24. All right, it's getting back there a little bit. I'll take a 24 merc any day. All right, let's keep on going. There's going to be some silver. Let's lay it here. Let's get a picture. All right, just working the side bolt strip now, working this outside edge, and uh, just started right here. Got an 18 to a 19, and I got a decorative button. It's got an anchor on it. I have to research. Got a little gold, gold gilt on it. I see if that's going to be a uh, military or not. I can't see anything on the back. That's a good find. I like digging buttons. See the anchor there? All right, let's keep on rolling. Well, I was getting an 18 to a 19, and I dug this up right there on the bottom. Let's see if I can get in the sun. You can see it says Sherry. You flip it around, it's got some type of slide. Is that lipstick? What is this? That is an old looking thing. You can see Sherry there on the bottom. Cool little piece. I've never dug one of these before. You know what that is? Comment below. 
All right, let's get some pictures to keep on going. Well, I took a break. I was getting really tired. It's not as cool up here in Wisconsin as it usually is, but uh, trees are turning. You can kind of tell. It's kind of pretty. I'm in a really nice little small town with all these old houses in it. And uh, still working the sidewalk strip and got me a 3031. And I didn't live dig it because every time I get a 3031, it's usually just going to be a, uh, a clad quarter. But this time I see a silver red ridge. So let me turn you around. Check this out. Can y'all see that? Right there. I love a coin when it's sitting in the coin ball. It's going to be a Washington quarter. I'll take that. I'll take that. It's going to be a 1961. It's going to be an early one. But I'll take a silver quarter any day, though. That's my first big silver. I haven't got any old, old silver other than a 20-something uh, Merc. So, in the hunt for that big old silver. So, let's keep on going. Well, still working this hill on the other side of the sidewalk. The uh, stairs going up. Got a 29 to a 31 high tone. And just popped it up. And I believe it's going to be silver. Oh my goodness. Y'all see that? That is going to be a standing SLQ. That's going to be a standing Liberty Quarter. That's only my second or third one I think I've ever dug. I think that's what that is. Look at that. I think that's what that is. Let's time, uh, let's, uh, time to break out the holy water. All right, let's see what this is going to be. It looks like a standing liberty. It, I'm pretty certain it is. I'll check that out. Still got the date on it, too. That's going to be a standing liberty quarter. 1927. I've never seen one in such great shape. I thought I would find the silver on the hill. I remember as a kid, we always played king of the hill. And... The king would be on the top and everybody else, the peasants would try to come up and the king would knock them all off. And I figured there'd be a lot of play, playing on this hill. Yeah, that is going to be pretty nice. I've never seen one in such impeccable shape like this. That is unreal. I mean, that must have been dropped. Because yeah, I can still see the details on the shield. You'll see her boob. Wow, there is nowhere on this whatsoever. This is a good coin. Let me clean it up really good, and then I'll come back and show you a close-up. Guys, this is not a 27. After cleaning it up, I'm glad I didn't rub this. Use my holy water on it. This is a 1917 Type 1 uh, S Mint Mark. This is the rare of all of them. This is not like the more common ones, the 27 and the other years. This is not, they only minted these 1916 and 1917. And this is a 1971, I mean, 1917 S type one so far. And uh, just in the shape that it's in, I don't know if you can really see. Let me see if I can get closer. You can even see the, let me see if I can get it to focus a little bit more. Nope, it's not going to focus, but you can see the details in the shield that you can't see on camera, but I can see it here. And this is going to be impeccable shape. I'm going to have to get this one graded. Check that out. All right, let's get some pictures and let's keep on going. There may be another one in here. I've never dug one of, of, of this type, 17, a 16 and a 17 years. Most of them are the 27s and 25s, 26s and that, that date. Wow, this is unreal. All right, let's set it up here. Let's get a picture. Let's keep on swinging because there could be more. And I still got an older house to hit later on. All right, I moved on from that other house. It's just basically just right across the street right there. And I moved on to a new house. This is an old house here. It looks pretty good. It's got a big backyard, side yard, front yard. So we're going to give this a whirl now and see what we come up with. So let's get to swinging. <laughs> Well, I'm getting a 21-22 signal. 
I don't know what that is. It looks like a mold or something. I can't really tell which way it goes, but it's definitely nothing on the back. It's lead, like a, a stamp, some type of stamp. It's got some, I'll have to stamp this into some clay or something, see what it is. Just thought I'd show it to you. It's got some cool stuff on it. All right, let's get a picture and keep on going. Well, I was getting a uh, anywhere from an 18 to a 22 here. It's about six inches down. Dug it up. It's going to be some type of uh, nice little gold gilded brooch. I like that. I'll take that. Nothing on the back. But some type of little piece of, it was a pin. That's what it was. It was a pin, a brooch pin. I can see where the pin was right, right there. That's pretty. Let's get a picture and keep on rolling. Well, I was just giving up on this house. I was just walking my way back out to the truck. Got me a 12 to a 13 signal. Dug down about four inches and I got a buffalo nickel. Here it is. Let's see if we can get a date on it. I believe we can. And it's going to be a. Oh, I can't tell here. It's going to be. I can't tell. Anyway. Well, look at it a little bit closer on in the wrap up. Well, I moved on from that other house. Um, didn't find too much there. I thought it was going to have a good good yard but uh, that's the way it is here you know some yards you think that's going to be really good or not going to be good at all in other yards you think nothing else is going to be there and that's where everything is i moved down here down the road just about uh, about a block and uh, back doing a house that i did a couple of years ago and then i got a new house and a vacant lot in between i got this little white house right here i found a, a silver ring in the uh, front yard by the sidewalk about three years ago and i found that 1864 and that gold ring with that red stone the other day, 1864, two cent piece in that lot to the left of it. And uh, found a nice watch fob in this lot. I looked up this yesterday, didn't find anything. The village, the town uh, owns that. But I'm on this house right here, and it doesn't have much of a front yard, but I'm going to hit that little area right there in the, in the screen. And, and so we're going to see if there's any silver or old coins there. And so let's get at it. Well, I just my truck right there. I literally just took one step. And right here was a 19, oh, it was 50 something, I think, uh, 52 rosy dime. I'll take that. Well, I'm back out here at this uh, old house here. And uh, there's a, a lot right here that I did last year. You can look, I'll put the video uh, thumbnail up for you can see what, which one it was where I found a nice, uh, Crotal Bell and a bunch of silver mercury dimes and I just came back out here and uh, did that house behind me and just going to do some of this just kind of tinker around I've got maybe an hour left I'm exhausted and it's hot here but uh, coming back through here just seeing if I missed anything and boy did I miss anything gosh I got a 34 solid about uh, six inches deep just popped it up let me show you what this is y'all see that I see the rim, and that's bigger than a quarter, folks. I don't know what that's going to be. Is it going to be a walker? Most of everything I dug out of here yes, the last year was in the 40s. And it's going to be a walking Liberty half dollar. Is that what that's going to be? Let's see here. Yep, there she is. Look at that. She's shining up good, too. 1935. Walking Liberty half dollar. Let me get some uh, water on it. Let me clean it up. And I'll come back and show you a close up. Probably wondering how in the world did I miss this big old signal here? Well, the truth is I didn't really hunt in this area. That's why I came back this year. I ran out of time and I hunted in the back and I hunted down there where that green, right past that dry patch of grass. I hunted all back in there in a line. That's where everything was. So now I'm hunting this up here. And wow, look at that. That's pretty nice right there, folks. 1935 Walking Liberty Half in great shape, too. A little bit of tone damage, a little damage right here. I can't get off. It's not mud. It's rust, it looks, looks like. All right, let's get a picture and let's get, see if there's any more out here. Well, I got my Walking Liberty right over there. Just kind of been working this area. Got a, a 13. 
And uh, I knew there was war nickels out here because I dug a bunch of them last year. Here is a, looks like a, is there an I or is that a P? It's a P, P mint. Pretty bad on that side, but you can tell it. Mosquitoes are bad everywhere. Little war nickel. All right, let's keep on rolling. Well, not too far away from that war nickel, about uh, five inches down, I got a, my second buffalo. My buffalo I got earlier this today was a 1916. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a date off of that one, but I'll take him. Get in the sunlight, maybe you can see him. All right, let's keep on going. I'm running out of time. This is my last day. I've got about an hour left. There was a war nickel, buffalo, and a war nickel. Three in a row. That's a Philadelphia mint. Well, it's been a good three days. I uh, came up here on Monday, detected Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I always, always come up here to Wisconsin on that last weekend of September, first few days of October, just to catch the cooler weather, the beautiful uh, the, 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 the fo foliage just turning. I've got some church members that come down there in Texas for the winter and come up here for the summer. And, uh, and so uh, they live in this uh, 1895 first brick home in this town. I've detected these yard, this yard several times, found lots of coins in it. But uh, since then, I've been coming up for about the last six years and uh, de detected about uh, 60 different properties, you know, schools, parks, houses, and uh, two different towns. And there's still a lot of houses to do here. They're all probably early 1800s, uh, early 1900s, late 1800s homes. Uh, you know, then, then there's more modern ones too in the 40s, 50s, and, and even modern ones. But there's a lot here. So it's hot to this week. And this is my first land hunt that I've done since water hunting, and so I'm really out of shape, and uh, I just got to get back into shape. It takes a little while, but I'm sore as can be. I feel like the, some trainer took me to the gym and made me do lunges back and forth across the gym about a thousand times. That's how my thighs feel. But anyway, I had a really good time, and uh, it really paid off. The third day paid off the best. So let me uh, spin you around. Let me show you everything that I found in these three days of hunting. All right, here's all my pile of trash. I need to dig a little bit of everything when you're digging in these old yards. And uh, I got, the fork, got, got about the fork there. So we'll put that fork over here too. That's something I like to show. But here's my coins. I got one, two, three, four dollars and 25 cents in quarters. I got one, two, three, I got 90 cents in dimes. Six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six nickels. And 10, 20, 39 pennies. A lot of those are zinc pennies, zinc, stinking zinkins, we call them. Got a couple of toys uh, there. Um, got a brass nozzle. I collect those. That's why I have that with me. I have about 50 of them or so in my house, all polished up. I did get a barrel tap. Uh, I wish the valve was still on it, but still pretty nice. I did get a makeup uh, compact and I did open it up and I thought there was, there was something in it. it was like two buttons though. It was no, no coins. Got some other thing. I don't know. It says Sherry on it and uh, I don't know what this is. It could be lipstick or, or what, but uh, I have no clue. I think this is some type of printing plate. I'm not real certain what that is either. There's that uh, thing that's not a valve stem cover. Uh, we really don't know what that is, but we found the history of it. You saw in the video the history where that was, and I showed you the, the, uh, the street and what's there now. Found another cool little piece of uh, decorative stuff, and um, I don't know what that is either, but I like it. I found this Eastern Star. Uh, this is kind of the women's branch of the Masons, and that's really a cool, cool find. I really like that. And, um, but I haven't found anything online just like this. I found the triangle, but different things on in the middle, but not one just like that. Uh, I found the 5, 10, 14 wheat pennies. I haven't even looked at the dates on those yet. I'm not even really certain. I got one 1905 Indian head penny. I don't know why my camera's not really focusing in. Very good. And uh, here's my jewelry. I've got uh, a button with an anchor on it. I've got some type of gold gilted pin. I've got this cool little cuff link. I did get two gold rings. That one, that one there is gold. That one's gonna be gold plated. And here's my coins. I got two buffalo nickels. And I got two war nickels, uh, both Philadelphia mint. I got four rosy dimes. 
And for Mercury Dimes, I think the oldest is going to be 1924, 23, something like that. I got a uh, Washington Quarter. And then check that out. I got a nice, beautiful Walk in Liberty. I mean, Standing Liberty. Uh, 1917. And with a Standing Liberty came a Walking Liberty. 1935 Walking Liberty half. I like that. And so I went back over that circus grounds, fairgrounds, and, and got that out. Along with those two things there. So there's all the treasures, my friend. I had a good day, time up here in uh, uh, Wisconsin. And there's all the trash. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can come up to Wisconsin, get out there and find in the yard. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.